first of all, I'd like to thank you all for giving me the opportunity to speak tonight. Uh, some of you may know me by the brand of the Large Gallery of Jewelry. Some of you may know me as the spokesperson for Subway. But for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jared. Uh, my day one attribute was that I'm an honest person. And when I say honest, I mean that in two different ways. I mean honest with myself, but also honest with others. And I make that distinction because I feel like when you're not honest with yourself, you give way to the loss of opportunity for growth and development. Growth and development is what has marked the upward surge of mankind for centuries. And so if you shut yourself off to that, it's really your, your, your detriment to society rather than a productive member. Speaking of growth and development, uh, my major here at South Mountain Community College is in public administration. And I selected public administration because I have a sincere desire to help others. I feel like if you, you, know, you help others and you do something to uh, produce something in the world, you're doing the right thing. You really can't go wrong with that. And it's what I'm uh, drawn to in my life. And when I think about helping others, I, I remember my, my fondest memory is of my mother. I was raised by a single mother. My father died when I was about four or five years old. My earliest memories of my mother were her getting up in the morning, going to work. She worked three jobs at one time usually. She worked all night and most of the day. A lot of times she was asleep, but she never complained. She always showed a tremendous strength and tremendous confidence. Each and every day she would get up and she would go to work with a smile because she was happy to do it. And speaking of strength and confidence, that's why I'm here in this class here. I'm not a great communicator. I like to sit in the back and I like to absorb information. I don't like to uh, be a part of conversations in any degree. I, you know, getting up here is a challenge for me. I'm greatly nervous right now. And that, that's why I'm taking this class, is because I want to improve. I want to become stronger, and I want to develop my communication skills. And hopefully one day I can put that public administration degree to work and really kind of combine that with communication skills and become the ultimate productive member of society. <laughs> and uh, tonight I'd like to leave you guys with a quote. It's a favorite quote of mine. It's kind of a life philosophy, if you will. It's a quote by John F. Kennedy says, um, if we as a free society cannot help the many who are poor, we cannot save the few who are rich. And that's a life philosophy for me because, you know, I grew up poor. I grew up with nothing. There were people who, had, who were a lot worse off than I was, you know, granted. But I was not afforded a lot, of the, uh, a lot of the advantages that other people were. And I'm not here to complain. I'm here to work hard. But I feel as a society, we need to work together to lift each other up and empower each other. Oftentimes, rich people and poor people feel that they're separate when in fact we're the same. We share a lot of commonalities. And it's by empowering those poor people that we'll make a richer society for everyone. And a richer society for everyone is greatly beneficial to not only the world, but to, to us individually. Because as society becomes richer, we as people become richer. Maybe not monetarily, but richness in you know, knowledge and experience and things of that nature. Anyway, uh, I'm done.